Well done on finding the chameleon, James. I wasn't looking for a chameleon. <laughs> I was looking for lions. Let me just uh, quickly update everyone here. A few guys looking for them. Um, a affirmative Rex managed to relocate. They've moved slightly, but still just off Impala Road. Yeah, at the moment they are still lying down, um, but their heads are up and they have moved once. <laughs> Guides always want to know if the lions are lying down or if they're doing flick flacks. <laughs> it seems like people don't want to sit with an animal if they're lying down, but I think that's important if you want to see any action. Like we did with those hyena, you got to sit and wait. It's all about timing. Now, Peter, that's an interesting question. You asked what would happen if one of the other males arrived um, into the sighting or with this this other female. So, one of two things, well, no, actually, no, what usually happens, what I've seen happen is another male will arrive, this male will recognize that it's one of the other Birmingham males, it's his brother, but he still won't allow him to come any closer, so he will probably growl, he may scent mark a little bit, but the growling is usually a sign that that other male shouldn't come closer, I've seen this many times before, even though they're related, and even though they are brothers, um, this male would not want another male to come and potentially steal this female from him. So he would have to probably lie down in, this, in the perimeter, uh, on the perimeter, not too close, but somewhere nearby. He'll be tolerated there, but not to come any closer. That's usually what happens. Sometimes these males may actually end up fighting because, uh, because the one is more dominant than the other one. So maybe just a bit of a scrap to see um, which one is more dominant, but usually that's been sorted out already. And then dominant one will stay with the female. It's a lovely evening. We've had a lot of luck this afternoon, tonight. Some great drives. And it's nice that it's cool. It's cool temperature. Looks like that lion has heard something. Now their hearing is far better than ours. Hang on. I thought I heard the sound of a lion. Perhaps I'm hearing things. Now often when uh, when males and females, or let's see what this, I think this male will get up and follow this female. Exactly, there we go. He doesn't want her to get out of his sight. Oh, let's see, well, let's see what happens here. He's smelling, sniffing, probably trying to see if she is an estrus or not. Now, Alison, and you seven years old. Hello, Alison. So nice to have you with us on Safari Live. Sorry, my spotlight is not very... Oh, Addison. Sorry, Addison. Um, sorry, Addison. Um, Addison, that big male lion has got that beautiful mane to protect himself. 
So the main reason is to protect himself from fighting against other males. And the reason for that is, um, is that thick hair around the neck will protect him from any potential bites that the other males may cause. These males fight a lot, Addison. So they can cause a lot of damage to one another. So that big set of hair will just help protect the neck and the throat. So that is the main reason why lions have manes or the males. And also so that they appear more attractive for the females, I suppose. A big mane um, might be a sign of dominance. A big dark mane uh, makes the male look a lot bigger. And the females might think those are good genes to have for their cubs. So they'll be more likely to mate with that male. And have wonderful little cubs. Uh, James seems to be on a roll with the chameleons tonight. So from these lions, let's go to a little lion, which is a chameleon. All these lions are mating now, everyone. Look at this. They've just got up and moved. Just a quick little mating session. That's the first time we've seen a mating. Listen, listen. That male didn't give a full roar. I was hoping it would roar properly for us. But that's the first time they have mated. And that is interesting. So this male possibly does think that this female is ready. And they literally just got up, started moving, and the male went and pushed the female down and, and mated with her. So this could potentially be the start of their mating period um, and that would, would mean that it may become quite frequent from here on end, oh, every 10 to 15 minutes in the beginning usually and then um, and as the days go on that period becomes a lot longer between each mating session. But that was great, perfect timing. It's almost like this female was wanting to get away from this male. She stood up and tried to walk away, but he was up and after her immediately. He didn't let her get too far from him. Interesting how they settled down very quickly again. Runner like a boss, you are a new viewer, so welcome to Safari Live, great to have you with us. And you asked why did or why didn't the male roar after that mating, um, or not a full roar. So, he, oh, uh, why did he? Okay, well, that wasn't a particularly full roar. Um, now, occasionally what can happen, what I've seen, is the males may mate with the female, they'll stand up and then... Um, I think because of the excitement and the sounds that they make, he may just roar potentially to keep out other males, let males know that he is around, um, or possibly to communicate with his brothers, find out where they are. The roar is mainly there as a territorial call. That's generally why big male lions call. So that, that would possibly be the main reason, was probably just to warn other lions that he is in the area um, or if they, if maybe if um, other lions heard the mating, they might be curious, but uh, um, those growls, but he's probably just saying this is his territory at the moment and no one should come close. Now, sometimes they 
they don't really roar very much um, when they are mating. The reason for that is the male doesn't want to attract other other males because he doesn't want the competition. So that was interesting. It was a very soft call, I, and I, I don't really know the exact reason why he gave a half-hearted attempt at a roar. It wasn't a full roar. A full roar is very loud and for a much longer period of time. But often when they are mating, because they don't want any attention drawn to themselves, lions try and stay quiet. Okay, I think I'm going to leave these lions now and let them continue their evening. Let's head back to James, who seems to have found the hyena.